Hey, welcome back to Clean Cut, where we can talk about the truth about just about anything, as long as we use logic and common sense. This season, we're talking about prayers, and this time, a prayer about the ways to exercise the virtue of charity, the act of charity. Oh my God, I love you above all things with my whole heart and soul. The most important point in exercising charity is to obey the first of the Ten Commandments. Because you are all good and worthy of all my love. There are many good reasons to act with charity towards God, but this is the best, because, being perfect, he's worthy of more charity than we could ever offer him. Many people who are charitable to God are mainly motivated by the good gifts that he offers them, and you can get to heaven on that kind of charity, but a better reason would be God's inherent perfection and worthiness. I love my neighbor as myself for the love of you. We should show charity to our neighbor because we care about God. Some people get this in reverse, caring about their neighbor almost to the exclusion of showing any charity towards God in any other way, almost as though charity towards our neighbors was a good enough replacement for charity towards God. But that's not the way he intended it, and it's not how we should act. We should be good to our neighbors for God's sake, not God for the sake of our neighbors. I forgive all who have injured me. It's not easy to stop holding grudges with people who hurt you, but in the end, forgiveness is a good thing for us to do, because it allows us to not be hung up on old hurts as much. After all, if somebody hurt you, do you really want to give them the power to ruin your life by stewing in it? And ask pardon of all whom I have injured. Amen. Everybody in the world has hurt somebody, and we all need to be forgiven of those unjust acts, by God and also by those who we hurt. Next time, a prayer used during the Sacrament of Reconciliation itself. That's all for now, so keep asking questions, and thanks for watching.